So, all right, so let me get started. I'm gonna start and I know I have 10 minutes, so I will... Oh, wait, 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 sorry. I set up for entirely wrong thing. Um, <laughs> I gotta set up for my, um, uh, you know, cheating arrangement with um, with the GPT-4. Uh, so, by the way, I, I don't mean to be joking or smiling when I say. So uh, if you are using generative AI tool while you are attempting these timed assessments within the time limit, that is cheating. That is academic dishonesty. All the potential consequences of academic dishonesty applies. You might use this tool to help you learn in the sense that after you finish the attempt and you didn't do as well as you're hoping, so you want to reattempt and you want to see what questions you got wrong. And in that part of the step, if you are using this tool, then great, that's perfectly fine. It'll hopefully help help you learn physics. Whatever is helping you learn physics, I'm not preventing. But in the 10 minute time limit, there's no way you are using this tool to learn. You are just using it to cheat if you are using it. So it's a strictly forbidden uh, and you know no outside help and uh, generative AI is the most outside of outside the help there is. So. So with that, um, for the purpose of demonstration of the cutting edge technology, I'm going to cheat again. You can't. I'm doing it as an instructor. You shouldn't. Okay, let me start. We have 10 minutes. Um, okay, so I'm going to copy and paste. And um, I think depending on how many figures I get, I might have some time remaining at the end to kind of double check uh, if uh, GPT got everything right, or uh, there's a chance, um, probably a smaller chance, you know, less than 50% chance that it might get everything right. Um, even chat GPT, you know, GPT 3.5 was pretty close to getting uh, everything right, like 80%, and the newer version, it might actually get everything right. I'm just going to uh, type in those mathematical expressions by hand because I know it's, um, it doesn't copy well, um, which is good uh, in terms of preventing cheating, but um, not good if uh, I'm, I'm the one trying to cheat. Uh, uh, it sees the correct answer because I'm typing I happen to... Um, think it through, but I don't know if it'll get C right. Probably it will. Um, yeah, C. Right, and I know this also won't copy over well, so I will just uh, uh, type it in. Length L and mass M is suspended, angular velocity omega, and free end V at the lowest point. G is okay. It is omega is three G divided by L, and V is equal to square root of G L. I don't think I have a solution for this memorized. So I can't quite tell without working through the calculation myself. Um, like A, I'm pretty sure it's not right because it would be correct for like point mass for the tangential speed, but this is an uh, extended body and we are not asking for speed of center. Even if we are asking for speed of center of mass, I don't think it would be quite right. So anyways, I have 2GL and 3 is equal to L square root of 2GL. Too many Ls. Now, the, I'm pretty sure that actually fails unit uh, test. Uh, square root of 6G divided by L. And this quote. Maybe it's the last one. I can't tell. Um, again, because I don't have the answer memorized and I have to work through it to get it. Um, uh, maybe I should have clicked the skip. Um, but then, yes, let me just copy this into the uh, clipboard while it's doing that. Um, long explanations. <laughs> yeah, that looks right, probably. Um, so then I think it's choice between this. It's probably the second one. Um, 
Yeah, I, I think it, that is actually right. That feels right to me. All right, let me make sure you copy the correctly. Helicopter, decorative photos. Okay, yeah. B, C, D, and uh, I think that's it. All right. Well, it's uh, answering. Let me go to the next question. Um, probably answer it, right? Correction torque, main board, tandem rotor. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, so <laughs> give me an answer I can give. <laughs> it should be um, uh, C, I think. Uh, yeah, C. Pretty good. Um, I don't know if um, uh, GPT might have gotten one of the one of the sets hundred percent right. I think maybe I, I forget if uh, it got it right in this class, but I do remember GPT um, getting like hundred percent at some point uh, this semester, either in this class or in my other class. Um, it's you know, um, I mean. <laughs> People want you to have superhuman intelligence, right? Um, oh, let me mute the chime thing that chimes. Um, so I'm working through the multiple choice timed assessment. Uh, concerns except for C. So I think a C is the correct answer. Um, let me just paste it in and just copy and paste my usual welcome message into the chat for the benefit of People who just joined, um, okay. Press session A, B, C, D. Oh, I think I six minutes in. Oh, wait, I gotta go faster. Yeah, I gotta go faster. I don't have a lot of time. Skip. Um, Yeah, it's all the typing that I have to do with these figures, uh, or sorry, equations. With the figures, I think it's fine. Um, a. Okay, I got four questions and barely four minutes. So, um, so I might not have time to actually figure out which questions uh, GPT got wrong. So I'll just have to do it outside. Do that outside of the time limits. Height H, where H. Is less than R. What is the minimum force? F, and then decorative figure, and then A, F is MGH, F is MG times uh, R divided by H. Uh, X is really confusing. Like, is that a variable or did I mean it for times? Then G square root of H to R minus H divided by uh, R minus H F is equal to MG times square root of H two R minus H divided by R minus Did I get two identical? Oh no 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 it's deep root. Okay. Um, square it, it's a matter of how far square root extends. Um, it's different. Um, which um, it's probably one of these two. <laughs> I don't know why are they so similar. Um, okay, well, uh, let's see. So um, in a multiple choice question like this, you definitely won't have enough time to work it out. You should do dimensional analysis. So it should be this one based on dimensional. Wait, uh, no, it should be this one based on dimensional analysis. Um, this one has right unit for force because the length units here cancel out. Um, in this expression, the length units don't cancel out, right? So, um, so it should be the e. Uh, let's see what GPT says. Uh -huh. I'm using shortcuts that I don't know how a generative AI would use those shortcuts. Still answering. I, I already got to the answer before it did. Oh, wow. It got the correct answer. Uh. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, as you know, as long as you know you are using it as a learning tool, it, you know, it's fine. I don't mind. Um, and I guess the better uh, GPT gets uh, at what it does, I guess it becomes a better learning tool than cheating tool. Um, 
because you know if it doesn't hallucinate you can actually rely on what it says rather than just trying to get 80 percent of multiple choice then um then yeah i i oh, a minute and a half i think i have enough time to finish it uh b okay Okay, um, geosynchronous orbit, uh, I'm just going to erase this because it already has those numbers. So it um, doesn't need those numbers from me or the question. Okay, while it's answering that, let me uh, get the last question and I think I'll have enough time. Uh, 46 seconds, okay. I think I have enough time. Um, Option E. Wait, anyway, this incorrect? The only correct uh, one? The heck? Sorry, I can't quite. Uh, let me ask this. And then while it's answering, go back up and read what it's meaning. To... Right. What was I saying? Uh, the question was asking, what is the orbital distance? And I think it, um, altitude, correct answer, is not listed. Okay. Uh, 40 kilometer is listed there. So if you actually read it through its answer and got that, then that's fine. Uh, let me, uh, did I, ah, ran out of time. But you know, all of the questions I answered, it got them all right. Um, so let's uh, take a look and see if, uh, and you know, I corrected the one of its answers because he said E is the correct, uh, E is the correct answer here. But having read it through the response, I realized it already calculated this, and it's close to approximately 40 kilometers. I guess it doesn't know how to round. Um, so D should have been the correct answer it gave me. And for the last answer where I ran out of time, let's see if uh, E is correct. Um, so uh, weightlessness, the same sensation happens. Uh, e, astronaut in orbit, because they are falling to Earth. Yeah, that's the correct answer. So if I had the time, just to, you know, three more seconds to enter this, it would have gotten 100%. Uh, you know, with one minor correction that I gave here. Um, yeah, it's, uh, um, so, so yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> so let me do this. I'm just going to slowly scroll through so that uh, you can, you know, I don't know. Pause your um, uh, pause the video and read it through the explanation in more detail if you want. If that helps you, you know, um, study these questions. Um, and uh, let me just uh, quickly skim as I'm doing that to verify that it got the correct answers for the questions for the correct reasons. Um, so notation inertia. Uh, see how much registering it. Yeah, I guess I think that's about right. Uh, we chose the following is the correct for Yeah, I went through that. That is, the, they got the correct one. Uh, we chose the uniform. So the answer it gave is correct. And um, I assume the calculation steps are correct. <laughs> um, do double check, you know, if you think you spotted an error, then let me know and I will um, answer your question. <laughs> Um, and yeah, here it, it already described the arrangement as tandem arrangement and spinning in opposite directions. That is the tandem arrangement. Um, angular momentum not conserved. So yeah, precession. A lot of times people uh, mistake that with the one where uh, angular momentum is conserved. So in pr the precession occurs because of the external torque due to gravity. So I goes through all this explanation, see, vertically um, does not conserve. Now, I think it is, um, yeah, it is, um, it, it's answering it for wrong reasons, because I'm not describing wheel being flipped. If the situation was a wheel being flipped, then yeah, angular momentum is conserved there. Um, so like, <laughs> this sentence is like out of place. But change in direction in the precession, that is happening due to change of angular momentum. So, um, got the correct answer. There's a random, weird, wrong sentence here for some reason. Um, yeah. Uh, it, it amounts to whether there's an external torque. 
Um, so, okay. This question, choose the precession below. Um, what did it answer? A, uh, spinning, yeah, external torque. That was our question above. Um, and that external torque changes angular momentum. Um, here, did it actually calculate it out? So, you know, I will tell you that I don't, I'm not fast enough to actually do this calculation within the one minute time limit. But um, it might have actually done the correct calculation. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, I'm slowly scrolling through so that you can pause the video and look at it in detail if you want to. Um, Stable equilibrium, yeah, so stable equilibrium, it has to do with the coming back to any displacement causing forces that point back towards the equilibrium. And it probably does that, move that way, yeah, tend to return, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, um, I think it actually did have the correct number for geosynchronous orbit. Uh, it, you know, this is the kind of thing you can actually just look up, you don't have to redo the calculation. And um, but it misinterpreted the rest of the question. Uh, I guess it, <laughs> it turned like a sci-fi trope. Uh, uh, you know, data doesn't round the numbers or Spock doesn't round the numbers. But um, 42,000 kilometers. Uh, wait, is that right? Um, 42,000 kilometers. I guess that's right. This question has an error in it. Because when I said approximately 40 kilometers, I think I meant it to be 40,000 kilometers. And uh, let me um, let me fix the error. Wow, people haven't told him that it's wrong. <laughs> Let's see, is that right? No, I think it might have miscalculated. No, I think that's right. Because radius of Earth is about 6,000 kilometers. So this question is an error that needs to be fixed. I will go in and edit the question so that it's a fixed. I'm glad I caught it now. Um, people have never told me that it has an error. Um, I'll go in and uh, fix that error. Uh, yeah, so it's not a matter of it not knowing how to round. It, the, the, um, so yeah, E would have been actually... Well, I mean, it's not correct either, but... Um, oh, wow. So uh, let me, I'll correct that. I'm going to correct it by just adding times 10 to the power of 3 to every one of them. I think that's the uh, proper correction to make. Um, I probably, um, that comes from a version of question where I had forgotten to do that. Um, so I'll do that. Um, and the last question, yeah, uh, the astronaut in orbit, it had the correct answer. Um, yeah. 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 So let me go in and uh, actually fix it. <laughs> I'll do that. Uh, it's going to be part of the video that will get edited out for the future. But uh, let me do that. So I think uh, what I should do here is, uh, uh, I think uh, the question choices are missing the times uh, 10 to the power of 3 uh, because they are awful by 1,000. 